In the world of industrial processes, the efficient and reliable transfer of fluids is essential for various applications, ranging from oil and gas production to chemical processing. API 610, a widely recognized standard developed by the American Petroleum Institute, sets the benchmark for the design and manufacturing of centrifugal pumps used in these critical processes. Centrifugal pumps are vital components in various industrial applications, and international codes and standards ensure that these pumps are designed, manufactured, and operated safely and efficiently. While the API 610 standard previously mentioned, is specific to the oil and gas industry, there are other international codes and standards that cover centrifugal pumps for broader applications. API 610 Centrifugal Pumps for Petroleum, Heavy Duty Chemical, and Gas Industry Services ISO 5199, Centrifugal Pumps, Design and Construction ISO 2858, N Suction Centrifugal Pumps ISO 13709, Centrifugal Pumps for Petroleum, Petrochemical, and Natural Gas Industries ISO 13709 also known as API 610 Part 2, provides additional specifications for centrifugal pumps used in the petroleum, petrochemical, and natural gas industries. It complements the API 610 standard by offering further guidelines on materials, design features, and testing procedures specific to these industries. EN 733, Pumps, Submersible Motor Pumps, Circulation Pumps, and Circulators. EN 733 is a European standard that covers various types of pumps, including centrifugal pumps. ASME B73.1, Specification for Horizontal End Suction Centrifugal Pumps for Chemical Process. DIN EN ISO 9905, Technical Specifications for Centrifugal Pumps. When selecting and operating centrifugal pumps, it is crucial to consider the relevant international codes and standards applicable to the specific industry and application. Compliance with these standards ensures that pumps are designed and operated safely and efficiently, contributing to the overall reliability of industrial processes. This video is generally about the centrifugal pumps that are manufactured according to API 610. In accordance with API 610, types of the pumps are being defined according to impeller's position on the pump design. Overhung Pump An overhung pump is so named because the impeller is mounted on the end of the shaft that extends beyond the pump's bearings, resulting in the impeller overhanging the bearings. Between Bearing Pump This pump type features two bearings, one at each end of the pump shaft, supporting the impeller in the middle. This type of pumps are being used because of high flow rate requirement. Vertical inline pump. This one is actually an overhung pump, but in vertical position. The position of the impeller is mounted at the end of the shaft. Vertical suspended pump. These pumps are specifically designed for applications where space considerations, such as in offshore installations or limited footprint areas, make a vertical configuration more practical. As the name implies, the impeller is suspended from the supporting level. The API 610 standard provides detailed specifications for various pump types to ensure their performance, reliability, and safety. Foot-mounted and centerline-mounted overhung pumps expansions are vertical and through to shaft direction.
the thermal expansion directions of between bearing pumps are vary from each other. This is a radially split pump's expansion direction. Vertical inline overhung pumps expansions are perpendicular to the shaft. Vertical suspended pumps expansion is valid for only discharge nozzle as the suction nozzle is dipped into the basin. API 610 Appendix F provides a design basis for evaluating the loads on pump nozzles. This includes both axial and radial loads as well as moments that the pump must be capable of withstanding. The loads are typically a result of forces transmitted through the connected piping system and can include thermal expansion, static pressure, dynamic loads, and other external forces. Pump manufacturers must verify that the pump design meets the allowable load specified in API 610 on Table 4. This verification ensures that the pump is capable of withstanding the forces and moments it may experience in the field. Manufacturers may use analytical methods or conduct physical testing to assess the effects of piping loads on pump nozzles. These methods help ensure that the pump meets the specified criteria for axial and radial loads and moments. The flexibility of the connected piping system is considered when evaluating piping loads. API 610 recognizes that the flexibility of the piping can affect the loads transmitted to the pump nozzles. Let's look at the Appendix F of API 610 in detail. Table 4 introduces the figures for minimum allowable nozzle loads. Appendix F 1.2 states that, if the applied nozzle loads by piping is larger than the Table 4 figures, then all the conditions specified in F1.2A, F1.2B and F1.2C must be satisfied. Here is the F1.2 conditions. F1.2A stipulates that all forces and moments acting on each pump nozzle flange shall not exceed the range specified in Table 4 by a factor of more than 2. F1.2B stipulates that the resultant applied force and moments to acting on each pump nozzle flange shall satisfy the equation F1 and F2. F1.2C stipulates that the applied forces and moments acting on each pump flange shall be translated to the center of the pump. The magnitude of the resultant applied force, moment and the applied moment shall be limited by the equation F3, F4 and F5. Finally, F1.3 states that piping configurations that produce loads greater than those allowed in F1.2 shall be mutually approved by purchaser and vendor. If you liked the video, please subscribe and hit the like button for more videos.